Shalom, beloved family. It's your girl, Sophia Spiritualite, and we are here for our daily prayer and reading at Sassor. Of course, we read, um, we say a prayer, we read a psalm, and we pull some cards so that we can get the messages from the Most High through the angels. So, without further ado, let's get started. All praise, all glory, and all honor go to the Most High, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I Am, loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Enoch, Moses, Noah, and Solomon. We thank you to, for another day to have labored in the vineyard. We ask for permission to speak with the angels for just a few minutes so that we are able to... Um, Get some messages that will give us some things to work on in our spirit tonight so that we can wake up refreshed and ready to serve you and the kingdom. When we enter herein with all humility, let God the Almighty One enter into this place by entrance of an eternal happiness, of a divine prosperity, of a perfect joy, of an abundant charity, and of an eternal salutation. Let all the demons fly from this place, especially those who are opposed unto this work, and let the angels of peace assist and protect this place, from which let discord and strife fly and depart. Magnify and extend upon us, O Lord, thy most holy name, and bless our conversation and our assembly. Sanctify, O Lord God, our humble entry herein, thou the blessed and holy one of the eternal ages. Selah. To the earthly mother, we thank you for always being with us. We thank you for guiding us, and we thank you for walking with us along the path. O divine mother, illumine me with divine wisdom. Purify me with divine love. Vivify me with divine life, so that all I think and say and do, I may be more and more thy child. To the angels, to our personal guardian, no, we acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahweh Shai, and the perfect he's, example he set of how to climb the tree of life and how to conquer the tree of death. To the angels, now to the angels, to our personal guardian angels, to the archangels, to the council of nine, to the council of 12, to the council of 24, to the 24 elders, to the 42 letter name of the most high, to the 72 letter name of the most high, to the council of the 144,000, to the 216 angels that sit atop the tree of life, to the entire administration of angels, to all the angels whose names we know and the ones whose names we do not know. We ask that you come. Thank you. Be with us for just a few moments so that we can get a message that will help us be in better service to the Most High and be co-creators with you in the kingdom. All right, so let's read Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad, my glory rejoiceth, my flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Selah. So, um, we have our night deck here. Um, and, of course, this is an advanced deck. It's a Kabbalah deck. You, a beginner can use it. You know, I'm not saying beginners can't use it. Just I would start slow, one card, three card pulls. I'll work on your understanding of the... Um, the tree of life and and so on and so forth so that you can understand what you're looking at okay all right so um here we go we have our cards 
All praise, all glory, and all honor go to the Most High, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I am, loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We again ask for permission to speak with the angels for just a few moments so that we can get some message that will help us to be in better service to you and to the kingdom. To the earthly mother, we thank you for always being with us. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahweh Shai, and to the angels whom we've already called in. We ask that you give us a message that's clear, that's accurate, that's easy to understand, and that's easy to implement, and that's right on time. We know that we are terrible clients. However, we are being more diligent in our efforts to be co-creators um, in the kingdom with you and, 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 and with the Most High. And therefore, we are thankful and grateful for all of your hard work and your training. We know that it is not easy, but we are doing our best to be... Uh, we are doing our best to be good clients for you. So we thank you again for all of your hard work. All right, so no cards fell out this time. Let's see what we got. All right, we've got the Nine of Cups, the Phyllis Philosorum. We've been getting this card a lot, Nine of Cups, in our past position. All right, and then we've got... The 14, which is the Empress, Bina Tachokma. This is right across from pillar to pillar. And then we've got the Six of Pentacles, which is the Seal of Solomon. My man Solomon keeps showing up. All praises to the Most High. We could use a little bit of that cash flow, Solomon. He going to show us. He going to tell us. All right, let's start with this book. Um, I'll let y'all see it. Oh, let me do my fancy zoom. Shoop. Oh, you can see those. Perfect. All right, so let's start with the Nine of Cups. Cups is blue. All right, so our Nine of Cups, that's our past position. And this says, wishes gained, satisfaction, difficulty surmounted, material and emotional attainment, victory, prosperity, happy future, contentment, empathy and understanding, fulfillment of a dream, good health, happiness, ability to assimilate learning, self-satisfaction, enjoyment of life, intuition is accurate, serendipitous events lead to fulfillment of dreams, enjoying the kindness of others. So this is in our past position. So the thing that you need to Remember is that um, this is would be for like yesterday or like early this morning. And so if you were able to go out and ground, if you got the message, then, you know, you you were you got into tune. I saw it. Your intuition got an upgrade. You got fulfillment of a dream, wishes gained, uh, empathy and understanding. It was something I felt. Oh, serendipitous events lead to fulfillment of dreams. So, yeah, that was the importance of going out and grounding. The earthly mother really needed our energy and our effort and our focused, um, you know, thing to to our, our joy. And, um, you know, if you're able to do that, if you haven't done it yet, of course, try and do it tomorrow. It's really important. Of course, think about it, dream on it and see what happens. But, you know, the, the message came from the angels. They needed us to ground. They need our joy. And so we have to go out and do the best that we can. Okay. So that's the nine of cups. Now let's look at, let me look at it in here to first, the, the empress, and then I'll pull it up. Um, I think it's four. No, it's Is it? Let me see. Let me look in this book first because it's got a different name. It's 14 in this book. All right. So, no, I was right. So, this card is in our present position. So, um, this card, through wisdom, a house was built, and by understanding, it is established. 
Um, when describing wisdom, King Solomon wrote, For wisdom is more mobile than any motion. Because of her pureness, she pervades and penetrates all things. For she is a breath of the power of God and the pure emanation of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, nothing defiled gains entrance into her. She is a reflection of eternal light, a spotless mirror of the working God, an image of her, his goodness. Though she is but one, she can do all things. While remaining in herself, she renews all things. In every generation, she passes into holy souls and makes them friends of God and prophets. And this card is associated with Mother Nature. So I'm going to look back. I, that was the right card in the book. It didn't seem right. And I did a lesson on Saturday about the Druids and the Trinosophia. If you want a more... Uh, expanded uh, 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 perspective on how the the Holy Mother actually is organized and organizes herself. All right, so let's look at um, what this path is. So the this path is illuminating intelligence, and it's called that because Chasmal, which is the founder of the concealed fundamental ideas of of holiness and the stages of their presbyter preparation what chasmal is the word is used in ezekiel 1 through 4 to describe a lightning like fire or brightness the power of god which connected to this path would represent the spiritually illuminating power of the holy spirit the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of god for they are foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned huh illuminating intelligence and so that's when the most high beams into us his spiritual uh his his fire and that is in the current position let's look in here i don't know what to make of that exactly um to be honest so in the present position, it also means abundance, inspiration, emotional fulfillment, communion with nature. We need to commune with nature currently, nurturing a project to fruition, using folk magics, growth, fertility, creativity, robust health, action taken, influenced by intellect, understanding, protection, sensitivity, beauty, pleasure, domestic, joy, and pregnancy. But let's hope birthing of the, the kingdom, hopefully, and not physical birth um for some of us um so basically i don't know what this means um you heard what i said i have no idea what to make of that if that means that um we're we're being connected with that fire of the most high if that means that we're um going into a new phase if the abundance is coming in i have no idea which one of those that could be um as far as the cosmic weather is concerned um remember everything we got was in reverse today so we have to just ground in nature and this is going into tomorrow um this is actually today uh so yeah the energy was not that great so i really don't know exactly what this means so we'll just have to take an inventory of this um later on in the week okay i don't know i'm not going to sit up here and bloviate on that one all right so we also got the six of pentacles um so we got 29 are the numbers that these cards add up to which is michael is in the mist okay um six of pentacles this is for tomorrow generosity careful donations Gift or money is coming, sharing talent, self-confidence, gratification, sharing prosperity, rewards, bonus, good fortune, sincerity, material increase, beneficial and another of another's bounty, beneficial of another's bounty and appreciate it. Well, I did say Solomon was going to come in and open up some doors for us. So um, that's I'm sure that's what that means. And so. Um, you know, this is for our tomorrow position. And remember, Medim has really bad um, cosmic weather. So you want to take in the energy and then go out and do something with it. And you have the whole backing of the kingdom through this, this promise, the seal of Solomon. So 
Um, yeah, I just don't know exactly what this means. And so I wish I could elucidate some more. But I think that um, the number one thing that we need to do is continue to ground and um, uh, it seems just like the fast is working, the good things are coming. This correlates with our temperance, which was, yeah, so we just ground, continue to ground, continue to pray, you know, continue our fasting. We are um, really moving things along. Um, even quicker and we're bringing about the kingdom because with the kingdom has to come wealth there's no way you can run a kingdom with no money so um that looks like what is what what's happening i mean i'm not going to beleaguer this i will let you guys see the cards while i write them down i noticed that our night readings are just not as long as our day readings but of course these are supposed to be things that you think about as you go to sleep so um i'm assuming that's probably why All right, so let's do the blessing of the separate. All right, blessing of the separate. Blessed be the light beyond all being. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Keter, blessed be the breathing of origination. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Chokma, blessed be eternal wisdom. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Bina, blessed be omniscient understanding. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Chesed, blessed be perpetual compassion. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Givora, blessed be almighty justice. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Tiferet, blessed be transcendent beauty. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Densak, blessed be unceasing victory. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Hod, blessed be surpassing glory. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Yesod, blessed be infallible foundation. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Malchut, blessed be all life throughout the kingdom. Forever blessed be the mighty one. All praise, all glory, and all honor go to the Most High, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I am loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We thank you for allowing us to speak with the angels for just a few moments. We would like to report back that they gave us a message that was clear, easy to understand, and accurate, and we would like for that to be noted to their record. To the earthly mother, we thank you for always being with us and guiding us down the path of life. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahawashai, and the perfect example that he set. And to the angels, you guys are doing a great job. We truly appreciate all of your hard work. We are working harder to elevate and to co-creator status with you. And we appreciate all of your nudging and your pushing to get us to this place. <sighs> Let God be praised in the beginning and the end. Who supplicates him, he will neither despise nor refuse. God above us, God before us, God possessing all things. May the Father of heaven grant us a portion of mercy. Berushim kevod malchuto loalam vayed. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom throughout eternity. Ha Rashaman, hu yashazir lanu avodat biyet hamigdash limkoman bimhira biyamanu, omen, 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 and selah. May the merciful one restore unto us the service of his holy temple to its place speedily and in our days. Amen, 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 and selah. 
To the spirits who are here with us, you're invited to go in peace. To my beloved viewers, you're invited to be at peace. And always remember, the Most High is your peace. Shalom, everyone. And we'll see you for the reading tomorrow morning at Demore.